job. Hi friends, welcome to the fourth season of Bird Dogs Afield. We're gonna be traveling all over North America, filming wild bird hunts. I think we're gonna have some great programming for you. Stick with us, a lot of fun ahead. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete, and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber, low pressure shot shells. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, helping to start every hunting day with more comfort. And On Point Kennel, providing the finest in dog training equipment. Good shot. That was just he was holding tight. Boy, that bird was tight. My God. Folks, it's a beautiful September morning. We're in Vermont, Shorm, Vermont, at Peaceable Farm. And it's a great place. It's actually a hunting preserve. Now, we're coming here to tune up Dylan a little bit. He hasn't had any work on birds since last fall. We've got a lot of wild bird hunting ahead of us. This is a great preserve for a tune-up. Our guest today, Daria Bruno, and she has her own radio program. Daria, now, how do people listen to your radio program? Well, they can listen on terrestrial radio, which would be the signal. It's uh, 920 AM WHJJ. That's out of Providence, Rhode Island is where we're based. However, you can hear us on iTunes or iHeartRadio, which is Lock, Stock, and Daria. Just search for that on either one of those networks. Or you can go to my website, www.lockstockanddaria.com, and at the top, you can, there's two buttons, one for streaming live, and the second one would be to listen to a previous podcast. So there's a bunch of different ways Wonderful. to hear the show. Good. All right, you know, we're going to talk more about it, but you got to tell me a little bit about this shotgun you're holding. Wow, what a beauty. It is a gorgeous gun. I'm very fortunate that my sponsor, Famars, has given me this gun to shoot with today, and this is a beautiful gun. Um, they're import, they import them uh, right here. Well, I'm not here now, but in Rhode Island, out of Coventry, Rhode Island, and it's a, just a gorgeous shotgun. It's 20 gauge over and under, and uh, it's got some fabulous engraving I, on it. I see it. Just gorgeous. I see you're a Famars woman. Got the, got the, ch the vest too. Yes, yes. So exciting. Yes. Now another one of our guests and shooters today is Mike Wojo. Mike, you're from Rhode Island? Yes, I am. Wonderful. You're going to have some good shooting. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get out in the field. Dylan's ready to go. Folks, we're here with our host and, and owner of uh, Peaceable Farm, Glenn Simone. Glenn, thank you so much for, for having us here today. It's a, it's a great facility. How many acres do you have? Well, in total, we operate on about 500 acres on the preserve, two different locations. 500 acres, wow, and it's just gorgeous. It's just a traditional, what you might think of a Vermont postcard. It's just gorgeous country. <laughs> Now we're going to be uh, we're going to be hunting over ring necks this morning. Yes, yeah, we raise and uh, uh, for use here on the preserve ring neck pheasants um, exclusively. Wonderful! Oh, it's going to be so exciting. You're going to kind of start us out. I will. Wonderful. Happy to. Great. Let's get going. We got it. Thank okay. You. All right. So Glenn, now we're going to we're going to start out right down <coughs> this patch here. Yes. Uh, you know we we break the preserve up into what we refer to as, you know, three different sections in north, <laughs> south, and middle of the rain fields. Um, and in this area we've chosen today, A, because we hear birds cackling that have been, you know, out here for a while. Um, I think it's the kind of cover that is uh, most typical of what we try to do here on the preserve, which is to manage cover where people will find pheasants. They'll hunt them in areas which are conducive to pheasants. It helps keep them here. Birds that re are retained or residual, and uh, and I think it gives you the greatest opportunity to to uh, to hunt pheasants again as One you would expect. Them to wonderful. Do. 
And uh, I see you've got uh, water stations out for both uh, dogs and humans. We do. We, uh, we recognize this time of year, particularly with the warmer temperatures, the importance of water. We encourage our, our hunters and our guests to you know, respect the dog's needs, shorter hunt periods, longer rest periods. And in addition to permanent stations that we keep out year round, we have additional stations in different locations. So you're never far from water. And we have natural water sites on the farm. Uh, the Lemon Fair River, um, there's a, what we call a heifer pond, and a couple of brooks. So again, you'll bump into them all the time and we encourage people to use them. And it is uh, potable water for both humans and, and for the dogs. Wonderful, great. All right, let's start our hunt. Where'd it go? Is it running on you, boy? It's running. Now he's got it now, I think. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna come in. Up here, darling. I gotta get behind you. Maybe just up a little more. Yeah. Right about there. Whoa. It's going that way. Whoa, he's looking his head is pointing right at you. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Dead bird! Dead bird! Let him get out there a little more. Let him get out a little more. Dead bird! All right, good shot. Big shot. Thank you. Big shot. Thank you very much. Good job, Daria. Thank Very nice. you. <laughs> nice bird. Good job, Dylan. All right, boy. Good boy. Yeah. All right. There's my favorite one. little bit left for an yeah. appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> nice bird. Yeah. Nice rooster. Good tail. Very good. Flushes. All right. He's supposed to wait. Yeah, he's supposed to stay steady. Okay. And that's because I've just let him chase birds all summer, you oh, know. Okay. He hasn't had any discipline. But I'll correct it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, that's the thing. I don't know much about the yeah. dog well, hunting aspect. Well, anytime when you're shooting above parallel, you're fine. The dog, you know. Right. You can't shoot my dog, but you're not going to. These right. birds are flushing well. They're flushing high. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Dylan! Get back I, here. Finish up here. The most exciting part about this whole thing is the dog. Yeah, okay. Dylan, right here. Come on. Hut! Hut! <laughs> I wanted to finish out this little piece. He's got one lab, uh, Charlie. Yeah. And then he's got. now. Easy. Easy. Whoa. 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 I'd go up just a little bit more, Daria, maybe. Just another couple feet. Whoa. Whoa. release him. Super. <coughs> he says it's right here. 
I dropped to get out of your way. <laughs> I turned around up with the barrel up. Okay, good. Get it tight. Uh, dead bird. Feathers? Yeah, those are your feathers. Dead bird. Dead bird. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very nice looking bird. Mike, good job. Good Thank shot. You. All right. Nice job, Mike. <laughs> very nice. All right. Hi, folks. Just a quick sponsor's message, and then we'll be right back with more Bird Dogs Afield. <laughs> Hi, friends. You know, we have an unconditional bond with our canine athlete friend. That bond is built upon respect. Reward that respect with a premium dog food. My choice is native. It has no fillers, no soy, no wheat no corn, no preservatives. It comes in four levels of fat and protein to meet the stress and activity level for your dog. Make the switch today, native performance dog food. Your dog will be happy and so will you. Okay, you got part of Dylan here. Whoa. <clears throat> now Dylan. Whoa. Whoa. Shh. Shh. Whoa. Can it's so big you can't even pick it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. Boy, that's a that's a gorgeous bird there. Very, very nicely done. Wow. Pretty. Good job again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Lovely, lo lovely bird. Very good. All right. Point. Dylan. Whoa. Birds not always typically fly down, but I'd say maybe one right on the edge here. Daria, you up by the corner? Left. Yeah, right up almost to the corner of the corner. The corn. The corner of the corn. The corner of the corn. Okay, his head's this way, so the bird's below him. Dylan, whoa. 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 Dylan, whoa. Shh. Shh. Whoa. Shh. 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 Whoa. Whoa. That's some feathers. Is he still flying? Yeah. Yeah, we got him water once, but I'll probably do it again. So that's our sixth bird. Killed three. One was a clean miss. One was a wild flush. And then this one. They've all, they're great flyers, man. I mean, great flyers. Yeah, perfect. What you might choose to do with the wind now the way it is, just for the heck yep. of it, is 
and this little draw here. Yeah. There's a couple of ways to approach it, but just just up over this hill and then <coughs> down on an angle, this draw goes down. Now we do have water right there. Okay. On top, so that'd probably be a, the best bet. Actually, I, if you're inclined to go there, I'll go up there with you and then I can give you a little layout. All right, good. If that works for you. Let's let's go get some water nice, for the dog. Nice outlet here. Mm -hmm. I like that. We've been doing a number. Of, we don't normally do them on preserves, but right. the ones we have for practice and stuff, and some of them are horrible, and like this here, it's just great. You know, it's got just enough standing corn, just enough meadows and goldenrod. Yeah, once we get a frost or two, you know, it helps a little bit. Uh, dogs have, you know, more objectives to hunt this time of year. However, as a handler, <coughs> it's when I enjoy it the most. Right. Oh, we're first week in September now, too. So well, that's, that's it's hot. It's, it's hot. hot. It's yeah, it is hot. But the cover mm. is just... Uh, the Dylan don't give up. Dude. No. <coughs> Easy. You can shoot no. this time, Mike. Huh? Why don't you shoot this time? Easy. He thinks it's off to the right. Easy. Oops. Not sure. Not sure. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. Dylan? Whoa! You want to relocate? Super. Careful. When I re relocate, you could have a wild flood. <coughs> That win, he could have picked that up from a good distance. Oh, right there. No bird. What a gentleman. You let Daria shoot first. Dylan, here. <laughs> I'm well, it, it's more fun watching her shoot sometimes. <laughs> Point. Oops, got it. He seems much. See how his tail is is uh, more still. He seems more positive. He was a little softer, so I think we've got a bird here. But let's see. Yeah. Don't you dare go in there. Who do you think you are, big shot? <laughs> you think you're a big shot? You can go in there like that? You whoa. Good to me. I thought he had that bird yeah. again. Mm -hmm. He looks solid. <coughs> I want you to go here. Good man, all right? You're not a big shot. You think you're a big shot, but you're not. Everyone ready?
come down. Oh, unbelievable. Okay, now everyone, I want you to see this is exactly what he's supposed to do. <coughs> he's steady to both wean and shot. He was steady on the point, the flush, and the shot. And now we just say no bird and we take him away. You hit it. It's going to come down. You hit it hard. You hit it. The last two birds, it's been what that I want in his manners. Yep. You know, he stayed steady. He's had a good staunch point. Yep. And he stayed steady to the wing and the shot. He Sometimes he moves a little to mark the flight of the bird. But whereas the first few flushes, you know, he was chasing. So I'm happy with that. It's exactly exactly what we we're That's trying so to accomplish today awesome yeah <laughs> hi folks just a quick sponsor's message and then we'll be right back with more bird dogs afield hi friends wet boots no problem use a peach shoe dryer the next day you'll be dry and comfortable all day long hi folks you know we spend a lot of money on our hunting we spend a lot of money in our guns, our dogs, our travel. Sometimes I think we overlook though one of the most important ingredients. That's our shot shell. My choice is RST. It's a high performance shell, low pressure, made especially for classic guns. You shoot a nice classic side by side, you have to shoot RST shot shells. Made in the USA, RST, check it out today. That mud bath. I'm telling you. Beautiful. That's gotta feel so good. Oh, oh. yeah. No hey, question. Make some room, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Paul, why is it important that the dog stays steady on wing and shot? Well, you know, for me, I want my dog to stay steady to wing and shot. It's primarily there. Well, there's several reasons. First is safety. That means he's not out there chasing a bird while the gunners are shooting at the bird. So it's a safety issue. And number two, you know, if he's chasing that bird, he may burst other birds. He may bust other birds. And, right. and that they'd be, they'd be flying wild. We wouldn't get shots. It's all about keeping the dog under control. The, the, the dog has to work for you, not for himself. We want to keep that dog under, under control. We want him to stay steady until we release him. He started out today, and he had some bad manners. He started chasing. But on the last couple of birds, he was perfect. He stayed steady to the wing and shot, and then when released, he went to the bird. That's really what we want. So Dylan's done a good job today. He's done a good job. I'm happy. Great. I think I think we're we're heading west in a couple of weeks, and I think he's ready. Awesome. All right. Good. Now you see how he's blowing? He's blowing that bird's right in front. Of him. Should I get behind him? I'm going to go right down through that cover. Gonna Glenn's going to come down and flush the bird. <clears throat> so if he goes that way, he's yours. Okay. He's straight forward and to the left is yours. Yeah. I think I get up even, so we'll walk together. Yep. I don't want you, I don't want you. In fact, I just as soon have you continue on up to the edge of the corn there. Yep. Be a blocker. Daria, you and I will go up together. Remember that. That's good, good Mike, right there. Yep. Good. Nice shot, Daria. Good. 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 Awesome. Yes. But well, were you sweating on the second the shot? What's huh? that? Were you sweating the second shot? No, so I knew I had it. <laughs> I, I, forward, we'll just continue to go together. All right, Stu, come. Let's go. Let's go. Find that. Let's go. Help me out. Help me out. Help me out. Help me out. Let's go. Roy, come. It's okay. Our lab. 
they would much prefer not to have him out here. <coughs> so I threaten them with Stu, come. I think come. that's my short hair up there hauling. Stu, let's go. Stu thinks you walked by it. You may very well have to just always turn yourself in that position. Okay. Two says it's right there. Yeah, we right oh. under it. Okay, Barry. If you're in a good spot, you step up on that hill a tiny bit more. There you go. Now you get a good elevation. Nice. That was just he was holding tight. Boy, that bird was tight. My God. Wait, let me do that handshake again. Hold on. Y'all side? No, that's the other way. One more time. Okay. Nice cockbird. Yeah. Very Good nice. Voice. Well, folks, I hope you really enjoyed that episode. Uh, we had great fun up at Peaceable Hill. You know, if you're in New England, you definitely want to give that a try. It's just a great location. We want to thank you for being with us. Stay tuned. Same time, same station next week. We've got another great episode of Bird Dogs Afield. Bird Dogs Afield. Presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, and On Point Kennel.